G'day everyone. So I figured it might be wise just to let everyone out there, especially anyone around Auckland Airport, near police officers, this particular officer I'm talking about, I call her Smurfette, or at least Grandma Smurfette, because let's face it, she's pushing the years now. I can say that, being a, a toothless git at the moment. I look older than I actually am. But anyway, this psychopathic woman seems to believe that even if you're not obligated or legally obliged to do what she asked to do, that in her training she is taught to first ask. Now if you politely decline that request, she will then tell you to do it. And then if you still don't do what she then tells you to do, she then believes that she has reasonable justification to then make you do it and use force. Now this is in regards to Tony's arrest at Auckland Airport back on the 16th of July 2022. When you can clearly see she's a good 800 millimetres to a metre away from her, or three foot for the American viewers. This is a public off. place, so no, don't touch me, mate. Turn yeah. it off. Okay, Turn I've been off. quite reserved, right? Yeah. I've been asking this. Off. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, explain. Just Wait, come on out. No, no, come no, on. no, no, no. Okay, is it, are you arresting me? Are you arresting me? Yep, okay, we can chat here because I need to get to Queenstown. The flight is cancelled, I need to get to Queenstown. She's been very rude. Now, this lady's having a problem here, right? And you are very rude, I need to see. No, it's not in your face. No, I'm not. I'm not. Obviously, you don't watch New Zealand audits, right? Okay, you do not have the right to tell me to turn my phone off in a public place. It's not. Oh, my goodness. No, it's not. No, it's not. You do not know the law. Yep. You do so not know the law. Yep. Yep. So Mate. what's been what? happening? What, what solution? Okay. She's just ignoring me. I said, how are we going to get down? I said, what's the reason for the cancellation, right? You are very rude. And um, she goes, oh, because we've got no cabin crew. Huh? Do not. Did you see that? Did you see that? Because we've got no cabin crew. Huh? Do not. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. No, do not. I'm telling you, bro. Do not touch me. Three, three and a half foot away from him. She still believes that to be her personal space. And if you're holding something within a meter of her, then she's obligated to make you stop, even though she has no grounds. Is there? acting with authority of the airport, so she's hardly acting impartial now, is she? Is she supposed to be there acting impartial and prevent breaches of the peace? You would think the first rule is to not breach the peace, not assault people who have no obligation to do what you are asking them to do because you are taught to make them do it. So I figured after the hearing, uh, now bear it or not, Tony's hearing, which was scheduled for four hours with six witnesses, um, they scheduled it for four hours. It went on for six hours on the 22nd of September. Then it continued on for another full day on the 21st of November, and then continued on for another hour and a half to two hours on the 5th of December. So now they're finally, after two and a half months of having one fucking hearing, um, the District Court has decided to reserve, reserve their judgment until the 16th of February 2024. Now, the, the, you know, whether or not the judgment is in his favour or not, I mean, if it's the District Court, their whole fucking gist is to find completely against what a normal justice you would expect and fuck it up, because the whole point is to keep the money rolling, to keep the system churning over, and people that have the wherewithal against a judgment they disagree with in a district court, you know, the lower, sort of, just above guttural level of courts that are there, um, they will then go to a higher court, a court of repeal, or a high court, or supreme court, 
and appeal it that way. And you can be damn well sure that if the judgment's not a just judgment and not decided with all of the facts in mind, damn straight, there just may be an appeal coming. But um, in regards to little Smurfette, who likes to abuse and address Mackenzie friends. Now, as a Mackenzie friend, when I'm in a court hearing, Mackenzie friends are supposed to sit there, shut up, make quiet suggestions and take notes for the defense or for the person they're a Mackenzie friend for. You're not allowed to address the court directly. You can't cross-examine. You can't talk to any witnesses while they're on the stand. So you'd expect that rule to apply both ways. But oh no, this bitch fucking even addressed me from the stand. You know, she testified hearsay evidence. She believed she was justified in her actions after a video she saw three days after the incident and the interactions that Tony had with Blinky Bill, which was before she even showed up. So she has no first-hand primary knowledge of any interactions he had with Blinky Bill. But no, she testifies on the stand that a video she saw three days after the fact, yes, that justified her actions. And yet, she wasn't aware of that information at the time. So, and this psychopathic fucking New Zealand police officer also seems to think that recording in a public place isn't allowed. I mean, if you're saying, bye darling, Elman Airport, that's okay. But if you're documenting the disgusting and disgraceful behavior you're getting from staff, or the irrational fucking suggestions or requests from a police officer, then yeah, fucking have at it. We'll just abuse the crap out of you if that's the case, because you shouldn't be documenting anything of that we're doing wrong. It's only if you're saying bye to dad at the airport, apparently, you're allowed to record, which we all know is complete bullshit. I mean, you look at what's happened to Liz Gunn this year. She starts, goes back to court next, next year, over her thing. They broke her fucking arm from what I've been reading. But, you know, they were just there to film and document the arrival of someone. And they get assaulted by the police at the airport. This seems to be becoming a common occurrence. So, yeah, I, I, you never go into court expecting a good outcome. Therefore, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer of expect nothing, therefore what you get, you're grateful. The same thing goes for justice in New Zealand. If you want justice, you've got to fucking make it yourself. So after this psychotic smurfette fucking st sits there on the stand, and this is on the 22nd of November, on the second part of three-part fucking one hearing, um, she decides to, you know, have a little bitch about it because there I am. I didn't want to be filming on the court property, so I filmed off of the footpath even surrounding Manukau District Court. Now, I went across the road to standing directly outside the Manukau Police Station, where I knew she'd be coming out with our mate Harrison Bell from Meredith Connell, a senior solicitor, so they put up some senior solicitor with God knows how much experience from a high-powered law firm in New Zealand up against a self-representer. Does that seem fair and balanced to you? No. Um, so, yeah, here she is, walking out afterwards. Now bear in mind, because Tony filmed her, she assaulted him and attacked him. Apparently she was just guiding his hand down, apparently on the stand. We, we all know that's not what she does. In fact, here's a refresher of how she attacked him. Because we've got no cabin for... Hey? Do not, did you see that? Did you see that? Take a note, the distance she is from him, that Tony is talking calmly and respectfully to the other officer, but her bee in her bonnet is being recorded at what she called private property. Well, if it's private property, and if it's not a public place, why is he being charged for disorderly behaviour in a public place? You can't have one and the other as well. Pick what side of the fence you want to be on, Smurfette. Or should I say, Cherie Ann here. CHW263 at police.govt.nz If you feel like this little psychopath needs a word to, well then by all means. I mean, I'm not going to instruct people to go 
harass the police officers or make contact in any way, but I'm not going to stop you either. So this little psychopath, after being on the stand trying to justify the fact that she assaulted Tony because he wasn't following what she asked him, then told him, and then chose to make him do, because that's how they're trained in the New Zealand police, according to her on the stand, um, that then when she sees me sitting outside the police station to film a police officer in public, what does she do? And here we have Cherie here and the prosecutor having their little chin wag. Don't want to be in my little personal belongings. You used to best go that way, eh? Stroppy bitch. She can go fuck herself is what she can do. Go run. Run, run, run. Oh yeah, go ahead. Give me shit. Crazy. Disgraceful. Run. You little bitch. Deal with you later. Good to see you're not camera shy, officer. Well done. She trottles on over to a mufti cop that happens to be sitting at the intersection. No, she actually jaywalks. She breaks the law and jaywalks first because there's a pedestrian crossing clearly there. Jaywalks across, has a little cry about the fact that I'm recording. The mufti cop, in his defense, he just gave me a wave. And I say to him afterwards, good to see you're not camera shy, officer. Good to see you don't have some absolute delusion of privacy in a public place like Smurfette does. So yeah, 21 years in the police force this psychopath's been there. Eight years at Auckland Airport. And she's walking around thinking she can assault people without any reasonable grounds because they're not doing what she asks them to do. So public warning to you all guys, beware of this little psychopath. If you're anywhere near the airport and you see this psychopath, take a fucking clear distance around her. If you're going to film her, make sure you're, you know, at least a good 10 meters away because then possibly you're out of her personal space by that distance. But anyway guys, um, I will be letting you know how Tony's case goes, but it is, they seem to be stringing this out. It'll be almost two years by the time Tony even gets a judgment on this one. Well, five months short of two years. One and a half, over one and a half years. And, um, yeah, I'm not actually too sure how this one's going to turn out. But I know what the next steps will be if they don't turn out the way we expect them to. Which is just what they want. Keep the cogs turning. But, yeah. Like I say, as a public safety announcement, stay the fuck away from this little psycho. Bye all. Have an awesome day. And to those out there that still believe in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy, Merry Christmas. I hope old Saint Nick comes along with a, a, a bag down your chimney as a, as a strange old white man creeping around your, your kids' bedrooms at night time. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's for completely justified reasons, isn't it? Bye all. Take care and Merry Christmas and a Happy Donneria to you all. Bye. And now get me teeth next year. <laughs>